I V M. You're listening to TFG Football. He was there in 2011. He missed out on 2015, but in 2019, he showed how hungry he was. We are talking about Captain Fantastic. Whether he wears the armband or not, Sunil Chetri was the man. Come at the hour, come at the man. He was there. He wanted it so badly. He showed it on the field. His performance for India for the Blue Tigers was all relevant. He was the leader. The second half performance was blind blasting, and here we are talking about. On the TFG Indian Football Podcast, my name is Kevin Chiranjit. Is joining us from the hot action in the UAE, where the AFC Asian Cup is going on. 2019, India beat Thailand 4-1. Unbelievable, Chiranjit. Over to you, dude. I can't still believe this. It's it's amazing, man. It just seems like a dream, uh, and. literally i came into this country thinking like oh i should like you know watch where i'm going what what watch what i'm saying it's a conservative place and all that stuff man we were we were out dancing till midnight in the streets and and if you saw the uh, tfg tackles uh, episode that we did uh, a few days ago it's it's uh, the stadium is bang in of the city there's uh, bus stands and uh, shopping malls everything around it we didn't care we were singing and dancing and uh, there were like these uh, pakistani cab drivers who joined in at some point uh, the the security people some of them were indian some of them were african they were also uh, you know dropping in and out and there, there was a party in the streets man it was crazy i have never uh, literally of course it's a, it's a unique feeling man because last time we won a game in asian cup that was 1964 like we were not alive that time and and my grandfather listened to the game on radio that's that's what we were talking about that game was not on tv in india uh, it was in israel india beat hong kong 3-1 and it's been that long it's been uh, you know that dark period that loomed over us for 19941 days it came to an end yesterday when india beat thailand and and be honest given we we were previewing this game we were look uh, you know looking at it in all angles possible we knew india could win but did you see this coming winning like this 4-1 our biggest win in asian cup history beating Fra- them humbling them like this did you see Frank- this coming man frankly you know even as, as the game started and you know, that feeling was still there you know we can beat them but you know slowly slowly thailand started creeping up from all sides uh, the middle the flanks were on fire the short passing game their movement of the ball this has made us look uncomfortable and and that that moment you know it really felt is there a way india can you know, get through get that uh, ball back and and the answer was not at uh, in the first half the answer came in the second half Oh my God! The and that's what happened, man. Like, look, look at the players on paper, right? Thailand is more experienced. They have better individual play- players. They are better as a unit. They are better in the midfield, and they are tighter in the defense. They like to keep it tight. They like to play up the middle, and that's where India was weak, right? Uh, earlier on, I don't know what got to Anirudh Thapa. It was uh, the biggest game of his life so far, and uh, he was uh, having some jitters in this big stage early on. And uh, the Indian midfield looked weak, and they were dominating the game from there. Second half comes, and all of a sudden, the midfield doesn't matter. Their central defense does not matter. Their entire freaking game plan does not matter because we got Udanta Singh who can run up the flanks. So nothing else matters. Udanta goes up, uh, you know, gets the ball in. Sunil Chetri scores. Who the hell cares what else is out there? You know it, and and it. That's what it made me feel like that their entire, you know, the Thailand's possessed gameplay. Uh, you know, their their great passing, all those superb players that they had in the middle of the pitch, they became spectators. And I have not seen India play like this. ever 
even when they are like they've got a, a really weak opponent like laos they beat like 6-1 or whatever but but you you make sense of that you make you know we are a better side and we're going to dominate them and we're going to beat them this was a better team than us that had 65% of the ball even 90 minutes later even uh, that that pretty much mean, wins means that they had like about 60% of the position uh, in in the second half we didn't have the ball we didn't have the better players yet we just became the better team yeah and yeah. and the second half just became a mental warfare man because because we made them feel like they did not matter right they they we broke their will we owned them and i have not seen india done this ever yeah. to anybody I, i think especially it, doing it, it in a place like this it wouldn't be possible you know if the belief wasn't there it, it just yeah. begins with that you know uh, uh, yeah a half where you're playing in your own defense of you know it makes you, you know go back in history where so many times this has happened when you're pinned back in your own defense of half you're not able to get the ball the only time you get uh, you know ball, the ball and try to uh, or hit on the counters you know we will be shut down but then you know that that again uh, I I will you know just recollect one statement where I I heard Steven Constantine talk about uh, how quick and alert you have to be even when there's throw in being taken and that's exactly was the point where you know it just showed it on the field that throw yeah. in by by Sunil Chetri you know it caught the defenders off guard you know you you can't imagine uh, you know uh, somebody of the class of Sunil Chetri going up and taking a quick throw in and rushing and dashing into the box and that's what he did you know he he caught the defense on guard off guard and and this is where you know that that opportunity came to india the the thailand defense wasn't prepared for this and you know it's yeah. it struck so beautifully at the time where india india was you know about to break in and the momentum was on india side had it not been yeah. for uh, for that penalty uh, conversion you know just imagine the pressure he he, he is you know ha- having the burden of the responsibility of on his shoulder and he looks at at the penalty spot he looks at the ball he looks at the keeper and he has on his back of his mind this is the chance to take the lead we can take this and we can stay there and just that patience that you know that confidence that he has in his run it just shows you he is going to go in for the kill and he didn't stop at that you know that first half performance you know if, if we have to take something you know into the second half that will be that momentum that you know, it came in from that throw in and that that's where suni chetri is is a leader yeah definitely and and literally you can write the story of this match player by player and coach by coach literally so let me let me take you through the characters the the game started before the match was uh, you know the, the kick off whistle uh, came because right at the start what happened was uh, Stephen Constantine put uh, Ashik Kurunian right behind Sunil Chetri, right? And imagine if that had not worked out. Imagine playing him out of posi- uh, position, and uh, Thailand comes and dominates, and it blunts our attack. What happens? Everybody is calling for Constantine's head right now. Like uh, stupid coach doesn't even know who to play where, and uh, uh, you know India's uh, our place in Asian Cup is coming into uh, question. But it worked out. Ashik literally covered thrice the amount of the ground he usually does, and same thing was done by Sunil Chetri because uh, you could see like within five ten minutes, uh, uh, Udanta was dropping back on the right wing because he he was looking to build attacks. He was particularly given that uh, idea that you can't always be up there; you have to come in deep and uh, build the build the attack from him. So he was. crossing the half line and during that time uh, sunil chetri was drifting uh, to the right and ashik kurunian for those moments was becoming the center forward right and uh, it was expected from sunil that if a chance is created then he has to move back in within that short period of time like well, he would probably get a second or two uh, to cover the ground and resume his uh, responsibility as a center forward and ashik would also have to look at the left and he would also have to drop back if need be uh, if the midfield needs any assistance so literally everybody was given about two and a half times of area to cover than they usually do and uh, then they would be like doing against uh, let's say uh, a, a 
a friendly game or, or a New Zealand B team or whatever it was. And everybody did it. You have to give credit to everybody. Like uh, uh, Udanta built the attacks, uh, Sunil covered the ground, Ashik Kurunian played the perfect, uh, you know, assist master there. You remember the uh, the cross that came for the second goal? Udanta gave the cross. Ashik flicked it with the back of his foot uh, for Sunil to finish. Like, it takes years of understanding to know how to do that. And and that was a world-class goal. That, that might be one of the top five goals of the tournament uh, at the end. So that was Stephen Constantine using his players uh, to the best of their abilities in a situation uh, that is very specialized. Because this works against Thailand. This may not work against uh, UAE. This may not work against Bahrain. It was done in the middle of the game after looking at the first half. And they, and they decided... Uh, to put the extra emphasis on wings and uh, uh, manipulate Thailand's uh, uh, original game plan that way at the halftime meeting. Okay, and we will hear from them about uh, this. You know, they will uh, clarify this. The second unsung hero here is Blue Pilgrims. Okay, and and uh, Sunday Jingan, uh, who spoke to us uh, exclusively, uh, he, he even thanked the Blue Pilgrims uh, for uh, coming out in numbers. Uh, a lot of these guys have been coming in uh, from uh, you know US uh, Germany uh, made the travel from India a couple of them were from Kuwait it was a convergence of uh, you know different people who had different jobs uh, all coming in just to support India on this uh, uh, historic occasion so i mean you, I, I i spoke about this on the podcast before the supporters have a have a very particular kind of effect on this especially this team I, I did not see this in in other indian teams before it happened in the south championship final uh, against uh, uh, afghanistan uh, in trivandrum india conceded a goal and immediately the 40000 odd crowd uh, in trivandrum they cheered and they backed india up and very soon India turned the game around and won the match. And it was a smaller crowd yesterday. Uh, it was it was just about 3,000. Uh, most of it were India fans. So the loudest I heard the Indian fans was when Thailand scored because these guys were just uh, urging India to step back up because uh, you know they, they just wanted to be faithful till the end. Uh, and that's what I saw. And, and it rubs, on, uh, rubs off on the players that they get encouragement uh, that no matter what happens, we're playing for these people and they're with us. So let's give our best. So it it was like a convergence of so many different factors, so many different uh, elements that just ended up being a perfect night for us. So uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just basking. I like woke up in the morning, I was just looking out of the hotel room window, uh, all these buildings and all that stuff. Man, it just seems like suddenly uh, Abu Dhabi seems like a much more beautiful place than it did, uh, you know, the day before. <laughs> there was tension going into the game. Uh, I was like a little bit stressed out, but now it it everything seems like a good possibility. Like look at look at UAE Bahrain, right? They got a draw. So if we if we get a uh, you know win against Bahrain, <laughs> then we are through. If we get a, if we get a draw. I mean, I don't know. See, one of the things, one of the things that uh, these journalists were talking about because uh, I, I, I didn't go to the game uh, UAE Bahrain. Uh, so uh, those guys who were talking about over there, I, I asked them, like, were Bahrain that good or were UAE that bad, right? And they said UAE, UAE were that bad. So now I'm thinking, what if we get a draw against UAE? That that puts us in the second round immediately. Yeah. Right. Uh, I would have actually liked UAE to win because then with a draw against Bahrain, we would be into the second round uh, automatically almost. But you have to say, like, the, the possibilities are suddenly way more open. And Kevin, did you think we would be at the top of the group after, uh, you know, the yeah. first round? And 
with 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 a plus 3 goal difference after the first first match day never, did you think that would happen never imagine at least a, a close win or, or a close match was expected with thailand but uh, yeah. a, a, a draw over there uh, I, i think that that's a bigger surprise but again you know uh, it just helps india push on when you know a result is in your favor you don't have a, a win over there it just helps you take ahead uh, that momentum we we got in, into the game but but again yeah. you know i still think about what happened at that half time you know what yeah. what went through what was that talk about we don't have jj yeah. we don't have you no know, we don't have the regular uh, uh, the 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 playmakers uh, sunil chetri was not playing you know where we used to see sunil him sunil was not there ashik kurunian was not there Eugenson was not there ashik kurunian becomes our hero imagine who would have who would have written yeah. this like seriously It, You know, I think there were, must have been a lot of question marks when we see seen the lineup first. I said, yeah. "Is this a mistake or is JJ not at his? <laughs> <laughs> is JJ injured or something?" You know that that was the first thought that I had when I saw the lineup, and. You know, <laughs> even when when the game started the first half my god you know it's it still it still fresh in my mind uh, i i think chiranjit it's, it's it must be just buzzing in your minds for us it was just watching on tv for yeah. you you're hearing the blue pilgrims are you hearing the ue uh, you know based indians there supporting us all the while and i think in some way it just pumps you on you're li- looking at your own crowd in a in a foreign country and they just with you all the time and i think the loud the the voices just went louder and louder with every time the the, the indians touched the ball ah oh, great great not a bad result at all uh, plus 3 aggregate uh, plus 3 goal difference there uh, i i think you can just stick around and just be hopeful for the, for the next two games again and yeah, I, yeah uh, chiranjit uh, yeah. i think just great to talk about the match but it it will be wonderful to hear from some other you know, key characters as you said in the story that is so unbelievable mm. yeah definitely uh, you know as i said we spoke exclusively with uh, sandesh jingan and stephen constantine when he came out i don't think he meant to but he literally let loose on all his uh, critics uh, and and i think it was a it's a, it was a fitting moment for him to have uh, because uh, he has been going through a lot we will also hear from sunil chetri uh, and uh, of course just to set the set the atmosphere we'll hear from some of the thailand uh, team uh, members so join us on the other side Hello everybody, welcome to another awesome week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you're not following us on social media, please make sure that you do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So this week on Instagram, we asked everybody to tell us about their New Year's resolutions and we had some really interesting interactions with our audience on based on that. So if you'd like to get in touch with us, do check us out. On Cyrus Says, Cyrus is joined by the habit coach Ashton Doctor who talks about the importance of healthy habits, simple tricks to meditate and his new podcast, The Habit Coach. Speaking of The Habit Coach, in a three-part series, Ashton shares his golden secrets to achieving New Year resolutions. On the Prakriti podcast, Pawan is joined by Dr. Jay Prakash Narayan. They discuss India's success and failures as a republic and a democracy. On Talle Harate, legal expert Alok Prasanna Kumar discusses the Supreme Court judgment on Aadhaar and its implication on citizens. On Geek Fruit, Tejas, Jishnu and Dinkar do a recap of their favorite films from 2018. And on IVM Likes, Janan Surbhi and Abbas give out some cool pop culture recommendations and discuss the new Netflix horror movie Bird Box starring Sandra Bullock. And with that, let's get you back to your show. Welcome back after the break and here we are continuing to talk about uh, that dream win that we had just last night it just feels mm-hmm. as if it just happened but again uh, we will go ahead and uh, listen to some of uh, the words said by uh, the opposition coach uh, i'm sure uh, he, he will go back to the video and just try to analyze what went wrong and where you know we didn't do anything wrong yeah. <laughs> what well, just he's happened he's not going to do it <laughs> he's not going to do it man uh, because there is a twist in the tale but let me let me paint a full picture for you because uh, you know there is an experience that you get uh, every game you know of post match there is a way you conduct yourself you go and talk to the uh, players you hear from the coach everything it was different man it, uh, you know uh, journalists were hugging each other uh, it, it it was a celebration and uh, usually the indian team players are very reserved when it comes to speaking to the press and uh, and literally this time they were a lot more open they they really spoke with uh, open heart with uh, all all of us and uh, it was not like they were getting carried away with the uh, you know uh, joy of winning you know they they were as composed as a bunch of young guys can be after they have just made history but uh, it, let me just set the atmosphere so uh, here i am hanging out in the uh, mix zone and we are just 
uh, still talking about the ga- game and we were discussing what impact this has had on the entire group uh, and that's when one of their uh, one of the thailand striker uh, comes out uh, chanatip uh, songkrasen uh, he, he was supposed to be you know one of the uh, main hopes of uh, the thai national uh, team uh, other than uh, their uh, captain so he starts speaking and just for a few seconds listen to him and and just try to imagine what his face must have looked like when he was talking right so just just listen to him uh, I, today very sad got bad this this song mm-hmm. uh, first half you guys were still in the game uh, what do you think changed in the second half uh, i i don't know but um, i think everybody do my best and how did you think india played you know which players impressed you the most india india play uh, very good strong and uh, they have aggressive any particular players that impressed you a lot any numbers uh, maybe striker maybe uh, in win number chetri thanks if you think he he looked uh, a bit dumbfounded and confused you would be right you know sometimes the audio clips don't like give you the full picture but here he's he's being completely honest he was confused he could not believe it that's when it sort of started dawning on me that the impact that india had had was almost psychological because everybody was you know even the thai team who had just been in the game could not grasp exactly what had happened to them right and and that's what we also uh, heard from the coach uh, their uh, serbian coach rajevak when he was uh, talking to the press afterwards just listen to these few words uh, not a long uh, uh, you know uh, not a long clip of him talking but just listen to how he is addressing the matter of the match first half it was, it was mostly okay although we conceded a goal after the the corner kick for us um second half india was playing much better they were more aggressive they were running more they wanted this victory very much uh they made many fouls of course and you know that they absolutely deserved to win today we underperformed in the second half and unfortunately you know we need more power more strength more running and more aggression in order to have better results for ourselves. Okay, question please. I uh, just wait for the mic. And introduce yourself people. Thank you. Uh, hello coach and coach of the platform for Sports India. Uh, coach, were you surprised by the way India started the game, especially the energy and intensity which their players showed? Oh yes, I miss him though. I... znam se da je kako kako je igra igrali na nas pokazali oni drugo vrijeme jedno lice moja ekipa pokazala drugo lice ostane dvije utakmice i još da se spremimo do te dvije utakmice pa da da ovaj imamo sima šansu da se izvedemo well a little bit but as i said even before the match that india has improved greatly in the previous period uh unfortunately they, for us they showed really excellent performance especially in the second half unlike my team so we have to learn from this match and you know be better in the next one so that's what he says he says like we will come back uh, uh, in the next game but guess what happened thailand is going to come back for the next game he's not he was sacked what? like an hour after he said that what that's that's impact <laughs> yeah he was sacked he he probably just walked out of the press conference and uh, the uh, you know team officials were waiting for him and said like coach it's not going to work out you're done <laughs> that's what happened man india have literally like if 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 this was a boxing fight uh, then then this would be a knockout result you know literally the coach got sacked because of this result uh, of course there were other grievances against him that he's not using the players that well but literally this this was this did it because uh, the entire thai team was humiliated so uh, here i am uh, let me just uh, yeah. bajan over here uh, was it something that uh, the indian contingent got to know and just pumps them up if we get to this and this is the end result they just push you out 
and <laughs> just yeah, listening well, too much <laughs> yeah yeah well uh, so well, we are hanging out and holy charan nayari comes out uh, left winger he he also had a pretty good game and of course that's what we put to him uh, like what happened in the half time what made uh, you know what was the game plan going into the second half and he did tell us so listen to what uh, he had to say about what happened at half time uh, when they were pairing and they were under pressure from thailand half time mein kya kaha gaya tha बेसिकली हम लोग हफ्ता में थोड़ा मुश्किल हो रहा था तो सेकेंड हाफ में हम लोग पकड़ लिया वापस गेम को आपको स्पेसिफिकली कुछ बताया था कोच नहीं नहीं बेसिकली कोच जब भी बोलता है तो हार्ड वर्क करने के लिए बोलता है जब भी गेम में इलेवन में तो हार्ड वर्क करने के लिए तो बस हम लोग वही कर रहे हैं और लास्ट गोर में आपका असिस्ट था उस वक्त क्या सोच रहे थे बेसिकली मैं मेन देख रहा था तो कौन सा मेन खाली है तो बाद में जे जे भाई का आवाज़ सुना मैंने तो जे जे भाई को देख दिया आई एम हैप्पी टू एस एस जो परफॉर्मेंस कितना इंस्पायर करेगा बेसिकली अभी हम लोग जो अगला मैच है तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट मैच है अगला मैच भी तो हम लोग और वही जो परफॉर्मेंस है और इससे भी अच्छा करने का कोशिश करें नेक्स्ट मैच के लिए आपका विश्वास हो रहा है कि ऐसा हुआ रिजल्ट बेसिकली मैं बहुत खुश हूँ जितना हम लोगों ने रिजल्ट दिया तो मैं भी लगा नहीं था कि हम लोग इतना अच्छा तो हम लोग सब एक साथ प्लेयर लोग एक मिल के खेला तो अच्छा तो पहला हाफ में थोड़ा पोजीशन पकड़ने के लिए भी तकलीफ हो रहा था हाँ तो क्योंकि फर्स्ट हाफ में हम लोग को थोड़ा मुश्किल हो रहा था क्योंकि वो लोग का जो गेम पोजीशन है हम लोग को इतना पता नहीं था तो हम लोग जब सेकेंड हाफ में गया तो हम लोग ने थोड़ा अंदर बात करके पकड़ लिया कि वो लोग कैसा गेम खेल रहे थे बेसिकली हम लोग को बोल, बोला था कि वहीं से ज़्यादा अटैक होगा क्योंकि वो लोग का जो डिफेंस है वो लोग नैरो खेलते हैं क्लोज खेलते हैं तो विंग में जगह मिलता है पोजिशन मिलता है तो बोला गया था कि हम लोग को विंग से ज़्यादा गेम खेलते हैं सो दे यू हैव इट द कोच लिटरली टोल्ड दम दैट अटैक फ्रॉम द विंग्स दैट दैट वॉज अ कॉन्शियस डिसीशन to negate every strength that uh, thailand had it was a strategic step that was taken by india and uh, uh, it it paid off obviously so we were all buzzing and i see sandesh jingan trying to slip out from the back right uh, he, he didn't really want to uh, stop and talk uh, and and i found out why because uh, you know the goal that india conceded uh, he blamed himself for that Right, so I, I chased him down, uh, uh, made him stop uh, because he he had said something that I remembered uh, from a c- couple of days earlier that he was watching when 2011 India was playing in Asian Cup, and we had uh, we suffered bad defeats, and he said I cried. So I really wanted to hear from him like how he felt now, because uh, this game to many was uh, you know seemed like a redemption. So while I was talking to him. I also saw Stephen Constantine going by, so I also, uh, you know, jumped right at him, and uh, uh, you know, tried to talk to him, and he literally let loose. So it was two of the, you know, key figures in Indian national team who were speaking emotionally, directly from the heart, about what had just happened, and giving us uh, their uh, raw reactions. Uh, so just listen to both of them. So this is Sandesh Jingan first. and immediately by you know pure coincidence uh, uh, stephen constantine walking by so enjoy the atmospheric nature of uh, the conversation that happened so uh, this uh, you said that you were watching the game when uh, india lost in 2011 and you cried yeah how are you, how are you feeling now oh feeling great man uh, scared for the nation worked hard for it uh, deserve to win you know, the enthusiasm and everything showed by the boys was Second to none. So really proud of the boys, uh, but still the job is not completely done. We gotta stay humble. We gotta stay, keep our feet on the ground because we got a game in two to three days again. So hopefully we can get points against UAE as well. So did the game uh, game go in the way you thought it would? <clears throat> yes, that, that's a, that's a one good point because we wanted to play like this because uh, we know how Thailand plays. Uh, they know how we play as well. So but we executed our plan well. Uh, we made them go long and all that. And we won our duels, and the work rate, the commitment, the desire, the passion. I think uh, I don't have to say much about it. It was incredible, and totally deserve to win. Uh, the wing play was emphasized. Was that a conscious decision? Yeah, mostly we always play with the wing play. <laughs> so that's one of our strengths because we got uh, immense speed. Buda and Holi have got uh, 
Bez Pin and very clever players. Snil is also smart, so and they have a really good combination. So we also always try that. Uh, today it worked really well, so you can say that yesterday was one of that. But we got many tactics, I would say. So today one of them worked. Yeah. So uh, you know, you came out in the second half <coughs> like it was all supercharged. So what mm. what was said in the half? Like? Well, uh, in the first half uh, when we conceded that goal, when we scored the goal, we knew we were going to score. Uh, we worked hard for it and the positiveness and the confidence in the team was very high. So even when we considered the goal, you know, after the first time we played, we realized that we are we can win this game, you know, we just don't have to be casual or something like that. Because I think the goal we considered was pretty lethargic defending. And I'll take the blame for that. But apart from that, I don't think we let them create anything big. So we knew that we can win it. And we gave our best and the result followed. And I'm really happy with that. So earlier on, it looked like uh, India was a bit shaky on the set pieces, especially. I will be a bit. bit no, no, I think I'll take the blame for that. I'll take the blame for that. It was my mistake. I didn't keep the line really well, but uh, it was just a, diff- a bad decision for me. Uh, I decided to do something else, and we can see the goal from there. But I learn, I learn how I'm gonna do it. It's not something big. If I don't know, if if the goal happened, I didn't knew it why it happened. Then it's a mistake. But I know why it happened. So what was my mistake in keeping that line? So. We'll figure it out, we'll, we'll uh, fix it. It's not going to be easy against a UAE, we a pretty big physical side, but we'll make sure. What's the UAE team? Huh? What's your reading of the UAE team? Well, I'll keep it, from, we'll keep it with myself, the reading and all. You can ask the GAFA for that, I'll keep my notes with myself. But they're a good side, they're a home team and a physical team, they've got good players, uh, experienced team. Um, experienced side and, you know, they're a good side, man. And it's, it's, the more you say, the less it is for them. It is one of the most looked after. Yeah, that's what I said, you know, if I keep going on, then I have to, you know, it's a lot of things. So they're a good side. But no, especially yeah. because Indians happen to be the most biggest expat population here. So you, you know? Most yeah. of India versus UAE is being seen as a. I hope we, I hope we put up a good, good show for everyone. And hopefully, we end up on the good side. Inside. Prepare something different when you, you need to know ask, it's, uh, You need to ask Kafa for, for the tactics, you need to ask Kafa, but mentally for us players, it's, it's just a game. You know, we, really don't, we really don't indulge too much in the media or whatever it is. It's, for us, it's just a match and we have to do our job. And hope for the good result. Do you expect such a turnaround today? The fans, the stands? Yeah, we were following, like, we used to get to hear it that the people uh, are uh, traveling and all. And it's great to see, man. Uh, thanks to them that they came. Uh, Mental loss to us, you know, to cheer them, to hear them cheering for us. It's, it's, it's a great, great uh, motivation. Um, just feel lucky, man, to be part of this squad. We've been supported by such passionate fans. So just enjoying the ride. It'll be a different ball game on Thursday because everyone is looking forward to this match. Let's see how it goes, man. It's a football match another day. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Coach, you said uh, that we no longer go into lose, we go, uh, go into win, and it was vindicated. So, what did you say to them in the halftime uh, that they just came out supercharged? Look, we uh, we changed a few things uh, on what we're doing. I think us for, for me, we were giving the ball away too much. Um, we needed to keep it better. You know, sometimes it's nerves. They're a young side. Um, uh, and okay, we got we got an early goal, and that really helped us. And then after that, I think it was um, we converted the chances that we had. In other games, we've made chances and not converted. China, Jordan, uh, Oman. Uh, today we converted. So it's it's one of those days where it all came uh, good, and I'm, I'm very pleased for the for the players. And delighted. Uh, putting Ashik behind uh, Sunil. What was the thought behind that? Well, I think you saw. Yeah. Uh, he's a beast. Yeah, he was. I mean. Uh, yeah, and I bet none of you guys thought that was going to happen either. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, look, you, you guys, you guys always try and second guess me. You guys always have your own opinions, and I don't have a problem with that. But when you start criticizing players that I've put in, or, or, or um, second guessing my opinion, you know, it's just it's just wrong. Some of the some of the crap that you guys have been saying in the last uh, year or so about the team, about me, about some of the players. It's just nonsense. Um, just got to let somebody get on with the work. Um, I, I believe this is the best time we've had uh, for a very, very long time. And all you guys want to do is criticize. Oh, why did you pick that? Why didn't you pick that player? Why didn't you pick this player? I pick players who are going to work. If they can't work or won't work, they're not here. Okay.
and it's not a vent. It's just uh, uh, I needed to say that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. So there you have it. Him, Stephen Constantine, pretty much telling everybody, you know, in so many words, uh, to you know, go suck it. Right? Uh, he picks this player. He picks that player. Every uh, you know, people have a problem with that. Uh, the way he's using the players, people have another problem with that. What position he's using? Because uh, this has been a uh, you know contention with the fans because a lot of the players, the positions and the roles they play in the clubs, when they go to the national team, their uh, you know uh, role becomes something very different. And a lot of people do look at it like it's a flaw. And uh, Constantine coming out and saying that's that's not a bug, that's a feature. So, so what what did you think about that particular thing, man? Just the coach using players differently at the national team. No, I I think I can uh, sense what uh, frustration can be there because there's always criticism and and yeah. you know when when you uh, the recent result uh, didn't work you no know, so much in your favor you had a great trend going uh, the streak was a winning one trying to be unbeaten and all of a sudden you you lo- lose that one game and then uh, the next results are not very positive although you uh, know uh, being undefeated. Uh, is what everybody wants to, uh, but the criticism more was uh, the selection of the players. Why wasn't this player selected? Why wasn't that player selected? He could have fit in better than this player. That's always there. You know, it's never an easy to be in the coach's shoes, and you know, rightly so. When you do get out the performances from the best that you have, uh, everybody starts believing in you, and you know that that exactly yeah. was the reaction from concern. Yeah, well, I I was uh, looking for the hashtag Constantine out uh, on Twitter, and uh, very interestingly, the the tweets just stopped after uh, the first half. Even during the first half, people were tweeting Constantine out, and uh, <laughs> then the second half started, and I think nobody's using that hashtag anymore. So uh, that this was a redemption moment for Constantine uh, as well, and then comes Sunil Chetri. Of course, uh, he what a little bit of a worrying sign. He did pick up a little bit of a, a knock or injury. He called it a knock, uh, but he looked healthy. He looked ready to, ready to go. So let's listen to him reacting to the match. He started and if they allow him to pass, they will pass for one eighty minutes and he won't touch the ball. Yeah. So I think second half also getting the goals at the right time really helped us. No, it was a very what different was looking team, yeah. completely different looking. Yeah. Team. It, it just we just wanted to be brave and press high. We, just, we didn't want to allow him to play. If you allow him to play, they can play. They, they, they can keep playing for one eighty minutes, man. And I see you limping. Was it a physically tough game for you? Bro, I, just, I, 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 right. I just got a knock. I uh, will check now. But even if one leg, I want to play the UAE game. So we, did you expect? Yeah, we're going to press high. Yeah, we just. I said we're going to press high. We can't. We can't just let them pass. Because you saw in the 25-30 minute when they are passing, you, you couldn't touch them. They are so good with passing if you allow them that you can't even touch the players. So then we got frustrated that you can't allow them to because then they'll keep coming and they'll keep attacking and there's there's nothing. So rather we just go and be brave. And when you have the whole team being brave and and and, and that, that's what happens. Sometimes it doesn't work. Because the other thing is better, but this day it worked, and I just hope the and the UAE will be far tougher than this. Of course, man. Of course, of course. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, the captain. He was not the captain. Gurpreet was the captain on the game, but he still spoke like a captain. He acted like a captain on the field, and he scored two goals that got us a win. Kevin, man, what an experience, man! I really wish you were here. You know, with uh, it, it really would have been really enjoyable for you to just. Just, just see how the uh, players handle themselves. You always talk about, you know, you be, yourself being a coach. Uh, I've, I've heard you talk about how you conduct yourself in uh, defeat and how you conduct yourself in victory. I think you would be really appreciative uh, of how, uh, you know, uh, Indian team carried themselves, how they reacted to the pressure, how they reacted when they were being dominated, how they came back, how they used uh, literally their mind. Uh, to uh, to screw with uh, the Thai team, and after literally humiliating them, how they carried themselves and uh, you know, maintained the grace. So, uh, you know, let let's hear uh, a summation from you, man. What what was what's the one part that you take away more than anything from this game? I think it is one team effort and it is one belief. You know, if you have that in view, and you know, it's just that lighting of the just the lighting of a, a match. You know. Is just ready to go. You want somebody to yeah. come and light up that fire to have you go with all all your energy, with all your might. And you no, know, I think it was just sparked at halftime. 
even though we yeah. were leading in the first half you know uh, well, the the you know at the time when we we conceded uh, the equalizer i think that also could have been a moment where you know we could have just let it go but the entire second half was remaining you know i i really mm. didn't think that this team would, would go all out and you know the, the, just the introduction of uh, borges and jj i think that mm. was one of the best moves that i've seen constantin do because he kept his yeah. trump cards you know to its pocket and he struck when uh, thailand were most vulnerable you know even at uh, yeah. 2-1 I think we were we 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 were still looking at you know possibly a, a goal that you know, just negates uh, all the momentum that we had, but at that moment you get in Borges, you know he is known for that you know crunching tackles, uh, being a defensive midfield. I think he contributed much more than that. You you saw the the confidence in Borges as well. There there was one layoff for him. He tried a curling ball. You know that's when you understand is this team is pumped up. This team is raring to go all the while, and they just wanted to finish this game on a high. And till the 90th minute, we 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 were expecting we could have still gone one one goal further. And had it not been for every team player's best performance, I think this result wouldn't be possible. and it was again you know it was a belief in the coach and it was you know vice versa the coach also believed in each player's ability right from gurpreet right till sunil uh, sunil chetri or ashik kurunian from from narzari on the left to uh, udant on the right every player i think the contribution of it, this might have been every player's best performance so far yeah <laughs> imagine uh, such a magical night uh, you know being gifted to us by the uh, indian football team i don't know how far we will go uh, in this tournament if we will get another win or this will be it uh, but this is one night i will remember forever uh, it's it's and and anybody who who watched it on tv uh, who came and experienced it will remember this as a milestone to be proud of uh, in indian football history in recent indian football history at least so one very important point you made uh, kevin that uh constantine did not show his trump cards till the end he had uh, you know even when india was leading and uh, he had already used a whole lot of innovative uh, strategy uh, to take on thailand there was still there were still elements uh, and changes uh, he could uh, introduce to the game that uh, that were highly strategic and could uh, affect the game uh, in positive ways and that makes me think like bringing jj on rodin bojes on like 15 minutes uh, before the game ends or using ashik kronian in a way what else can he do like what what are the cards does he have up his sleeves does he have something like this planned for the uae game you know uh, because he said in in the interview uh, with us he said that you will try to second guess me all the time but it, it's it's not going to work it's, it's just going to frustrate me and frustrate you so what what might he do So let's let's listen to uh, Stephen Constantine address the entire press uh, in the in the post match presser and see if we can uh, you know catch a glimpse of what he's thinking or what he's plotting for the UAE game. Yeah, well, um, obviously delighted with the performance. I thought the boys um, uh, fought for the entire ninety three minutes. I think it was, um, and we're just very happy to uh, get our first win in the Asian Cup for some years. So. Yes, question please. Wait now. Uh, uh would you please wait just for the mic and introduce yourself. Thank you. Rain from uh, Mumbai Mirror, representing Mumbai Mirror basically. Uh just wanted to know what exactly did you talk tell the boys at the at half time because first half seemed completely out of control. Uh well, I don't know what you mean by out of control. Uh, we took the lead. I thought it was uh quite an evenly matched first half. We gave the ball away too much. Um we had some uh, small adjustments at half time um, obviously um, we didn't try and change things because i think the problem we had was that we were giving the ball away too much um, uh, so we tried to cut the ball better in the second half but i think we did of course it helped when we got that early goal and then uh, time and on the back foot after that um, so oh um john jordan from the garden um Of course, it's a nice result for <coughs> for India, but Stephen, how does it rank for you personally as a Vice Chair of the Coach? It's one of the best results in your career, and also to ask the 
progress you've made in India has resulted in increased expectations in the past two years. How do you think what will happen after this result? How will you the players and the media and the fans be on the ground? Um, well, I'll answer your last question. Um, you know, we just try to, 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 to win every game you play and you want to compete, be competitive. Um, I think we've done, as you say, very well the last two or three years. Um, and I, I think it's a continual process. Um, we're not getting carried away. We, we won a game. Um, there's two games left. We won't qualify. We need at least another two points um, to have hopes to qualify. Um, uh, we came here to qualify. Uh, I think it's time uh, where um, we are no longer uh, looking at India in the way we were. And I think today people got a good, uh, good look at what we're capable of. We're a young side, we're a fit side, and we'll run till, till the last last minute. Um, now I've got your first question. As, as a coach, how's it ranked? Uh, so, your okay, yeah, no, I, I, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, look, uh, if I say it's just another result, um, would that be a cliche? Because uh, it is. Uh, we're, we're, in, we're in the final, okay, we're in the Asian Cup, so that's a big deal in itself. We've won one game, um, three points, two more games. That's it. Please just wait for my first gentleman. Yes. Okay. Kaushal from first post. Coach, you decided to go with Ashik up top. Uh, so, how, how do you, how pleased are you with that decision? You, you took that decision, and what was the thought process behind it? Well, it's my job to take decisions and, and pick the team. So, look, Ashik is uh, he's very raw. He's young. He's strong. He's fit. Yeah, he needs to do a lot of things to, to, to be a complete player. But um, uh, we wanted a bit of pace, a bit of physicality. Um, he has uh, he's a bit quicker than JJ and Balwan. Uh, and, that, and that was the, the thought process that we, we try and stretch Thailand and make it difficult for them. And, and the boy he didn't stop running, so um, fair play to him. I wish he would have scored. Hi, coach. This is Sean from Sportstar. Hi. Since there are a lot of talks surrounding your body supporting team captains, mm -hmm. and you get good down by doing it. Do you think that brought out the best in shape? Do you think that you know, got the pressure off his shoulders and brought out better performance tonight? No, there's no controversy about the rotating captains. Um, and this will be the last time that I'll answer that question. Uh, I've done it for four bloody years. So, um, no, I don't think it brought out the best in Chetri. Chetri gives everything he has every time he plays, as do all the other players, whether he's the captain or not. So, Coach, congratulations on the win uh, here Thank at you. AFC. Um, next up for you is the UAE. Is that a uh, prospect that excites you rather than daunts you? Well, the, the whole uh, the whole Asian Cup excites me. I mean, um, we played 18 games, um, blood, sweat, and tears. Three qualifiers for the qualifiers, and um, we, we we got here. And, uh, you know, we're a very young team, so yes, we're very excited about the prospect of playing all of the three teams. And, and of course, UAE will be a, a different game. Uh, the home nation, um, they're a very good side, uh, but. They're just another team standing in our way. Good evening, coach. I'm Sri John from Sports Skida. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. We've won a game 4-1. Uh, I think this is the biggest victory in 54 years in Asian Cup. Does the result surprise you? And secondly, as you mentioned, you know you see UAE as just another team in our way. So, what do you tell the boys now after this big win? You know, they have a tendency to have high hopes and sort of just float in the memory of this game? Well, firstly, um, it is just another uh, game. Um, we're not getting carried away. Um, like I said, it's three points. It's, if it was three points and we qualified, then okay, we can get a bit excited. Um, there's no issues with keeping the boys' uh, feet on the ground. Uh, don't worry about that. Um, we're very... Uh, level-headed, we're a humble team, we work hard, and um, obviously we're delighted, we're pleased, and um, tomorrow morning we train.
رأينا الكنترول تاني الثاني سنة اللي ممكن نواجهها لجمهور الهند في المباراة اليابانية على أساس إن في ناس كتير Okay, um, this is uh, the chap there asked a similar question. So, did I expect us to win 3 or 4 1? <laughs> no. Um, you don't go into a game thinking you're going to win 4 1 or 5 1. Um, you think you play well, you get chances, and you score a few goals. I mean, we've had chances uh, in the last 3 or 4 games that we played, and, and we didn't score. Uh, today we converted, so I'm obviously delighted with that. Um, and. Uh, with regard to the uh, Indian fans, um, I thought there were quite few of them there. Not um, as many as we would have liked, but they didn't stop singing and cheering us on, and um, we appreciate that and hope they come for the next game. Next question, please. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, this is Ting Ting from China Center Television. I've got two questions. First, uh, Coach, your team had played a friendly game with Team China three months ago and you got a draw, but today you got a 4 to 1. Is it because uh, your team has improved a lot since the last three months, or is it because the Thailand team didn't give you the same pressure? No, uh, look, uh, I don't think it's uh, in three months we became uh, a, a world uh, a world class team. We've been working on this for the last four years. Uh, the result in China for us was um, a, a, a good result. Um, we were under pressure for a lot of that game, and these are the games that we were looking to play. So, um, obviously, we're, we're we're happy with the win, but this didn't happen in the last three months. It's been the last four years. And I've got another question. Actually, I. That's three. Uh, sorry. <laughs> well, actually, I interviewed some of the uh, Indian fans just now, and they said that you are the most important reason why your team has improved a lot in the past years. So, what's your response? My my response is that um, it's it's not just about me. There are a lot of people that um, make this result possible. Um, I, I've said it many times before. I have absolutely brilliant support staff. They work night and day to keep the players on the pitch. Um, my physiotherapist Gigi George is one of the best I've ever worked with. Um, Danny Deegan, my sports science coach from Australia, awesome. Uh, goalkeeping coach at Amos from Brazil, super. I mean, um, and Kadesh, my assistant, uh, who played for me uh, uh, for three years, great. Uh, I, I just have great staff. I mean, it's um, I'm just part of it, um, perhaps. But, um, one of the main parts, but it's not just about me. Next question, please. Yes, please go ahead. Just go the mic. Coach, uh, you've had problems with you know starting the game slowly in the past, but today we were right out of the blocks and looked very co confident and composed at such a big stage. So did it, did it please you particularly? Yeah, I mean, um, you're right. Um, sometimes in games we do start a little slow. It's um, it can be a little bit nerves, it can be a little bit um, trying to, you know, settle into the game if that's a uh, thing. And the important thing is not to concede a goal in that first 15, 20 minutes. Um, uh, yeah, of course, I'm always pleased when we, we start quickly. Um, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So uh, we finished quickly today as well, so it was good. Last question, please. Yes. Coach Kuvain, I I just wanted to know where does this particular victory rank in your career so far with the Indian team? I don't know. We've had some fantastic results in the last four years um, with the Indian team and, and in the previous thing. Um, but yes, it, I, I don't single it out um, more important than the others. Um, it, it would appear more important because we're playing on a, a big platform. So. I'm happy. It's, um, I don't get too carried away when we lose, and I don't get over the, too over the top when we win. So I'm, I'm very happy, obviously. And um, next week, thank you all for coming. So you got the coach, uh, and we have a bigger battle coming up next. It's against the UAE. And uh, Kevin, your thoughts? What's going to happen? <laughs> now this is. Uh amps up everything that we thought about uh, uh, India's performance in the uh, Asian Cup and 
you know it just makes it a more thrilling movie to watch watch, watch out for you know we already saw something uh, so tremendous a, a comeback and i will still say it was a comeback rather than it was a f- uh, free flowing game and uh, it just leads to more confidence for the players and that's what what is needed in in front of a host team a team which is being so dominant right up there in the afc rankings uh, the asian uh, rankings i mean and the draw again uh, for for uae i think they must have hurt them a lot uh, they, they would have expected a lot uh, much more positive results but india is in the driving seat right now unbelievable i, I think just you know, i'm just waiting for that next kick off in in front of uh, the blue pilgrims and the indian supporters seriously man seriously if if we get a draw against uae we're going to be top 2 just imagine that just imagine that <laughs> Right and uh, that was that magical night which we spoke about I think we can go on and on but I, I think the way th- the words came out from uh, each of the players that uh, Chiranjeevi spoke to over there and it just tells you how 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 meaningful this victory was for India and uh and the, the the aim that we have for Indian football the Asian dream it's just right there right up right still alive right in front of our eyes let's hope we can continue this good performance in the coming matches and uh on that note we will bring the show to an end come back to us next week and we will promise you to have another great show lined up for you till then if you're listening to us on youtube do not forget to like share subscribe if you're listening to us on any of the channels do check out ivm podcast app it's got many other podcasts uh, just like the tfg ones and uh, Do not forget to follow us on Twitter at @tfg football Chiranjit Oja is also on Twitter along with me uh, do give us a follow to go come back to us next week and have a great week ahead Advertising is dead yep you heard me right advertising is dead we're all in the content business now Let's not call it news, TV, radio, etc., etc. It's all content, and we're in the middle of this weirdly exciting phase where all the borders and lines that have been drawn over decades has been swept away by this lovely thing called the internet. We're a show where we don't dwell on just the stuff that is now, but rather the wider stuff about advertising, media, content, and the whole goddamn circus surrounding it. Tune in every Tuesday for our weekly unboxing of the mystery box we used to call advertising. I'm Varun Dugirala, co-founder and content chief at The Glitch, and this is my new podcast, Advertising Is Dead. How aware do you think you are of your laws and rights? Do you look up to laws when you are caught up in situations? Do you know what your rights are when you're stuck somewhere bad? Well, here's a show that can help you move an inch closer to being aware of what your rights are. Tune in to Know Your Kanoon with me Amar Rana. This is a podcast meant to answer all your law related queries. Catch Know Your Kanoon every week on the IVM website or the app or anywhere you get your podcast from.